So hello guys welcome back to another pre assessment skill badge it's basically by completing one challenge lab you get entire skill badge so here you have to come down and just click on start challenge and if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel here basically just click on start challenge and you'll be redirected to the challenge lab now just follow as i am doing it will cover step by step and we'll be able to complete the lab without any issue now here just click on start lab and open gmail in incognito window just open the gmail in incognito window and here if it asks for user and pass then check the lab instruction now for basically other pre-assessment skill badges and lab free courses you can check the description box i have attached the master sheet here just click on i understand first thing is that you have to just click on i understand okay then the gmail box will be open and then we'll move forward to the next step so don't worry we'll cover everything step by step and you'll be able to complete the lab without any issue if you are unable to just open the setting wait for some time till the page is fully loaded or just refresh the browser window just refresh the browser window the setting is opened you have to just click on see all settings first of all remove this unwanted pop-up guys Remove this unwanted pop-up first of all and then just click on see all settings. So here basically you have to just click on this setting icon and then see all settings. And basically the first step is that we have to just create a signature for our Gmail. Basically when we send any emails we see send at the bottom best regards. Or sometimes we see there is a company details and contact numbers etc. So how you have to do you have to just come down and click on create signature. Now it will take some time because the server is heavy loaded. Chances are there you may be able to open and create the signature instantly. But here when I am doing this lab the server was heavily loaded. So just wait for it. Do not worry everything will be completed. You will get 100 out of 100 in this lab. So just stay tuned. Now here for signature name you can write any random name. So just type the name anything over here. Also, I want to share if you are new to this channel and haven't liked the video yet and subscribe the channel do subscribe it now select it like this and type any random message over here you can just type any message and from here you can see just select the signature from here this drop down and here also if you want to write any message you can write it there is no issue and then just click on save change now you have to just come back to the lab instructions and check the score for this particular task basically the task number one you'll get the score without any issue and if you are not getting wait for some time and still you're not getting then repeat the steps now click on this and we have to just open the calendar okay we have to open the calendar from here now here when the calendar will be open chances are there the calendar may reload itself so you have to just click on reload and then start it do not start early because chances are there you may get glitch because the calendar refreshes itself automatically so here when it will load it will see a uh, pop up that the calendar is loading so let me show you just click on got it like this you can see just click on reload and once it's opened now here it will ask you to select any mode like dark mode light mode or any mode whatever you prefer there is no impact on the lab for this selection so i like dark so i will select dark mode and from here just click one out of office option now here for the name the name you have to select from the lab instruction okay if they have mentioned the name you have to select like this just copy the name carefully and replace it carefully now from here you have to just cross verify that all days are selected or not then only save it okay let me show you like this cross verify all days selected all things are correct just save save and decline now one more thing we have to do we have to create an event also so just click on create event that is basically our task number five so let's do it together why make it lengthy so here they have mentioned you can write any name okay so i'm just using this name you can also use this name why to make any difficulties just paste the name over here now here just select every weekday okay from here every weekday and for the guest they have already mentioned the guest emails so you can just select from the lab instruction one by one just select it type it and you have to just click on it okay let me show you you have to just see just click like this and cross verify both are added once it is done just click on save send and just it is done okay now from here just click on drive 
In the drive, we have to create a new folder. If you want, you can go back to the LAM instruction and check the score. Do not worry, everything will be covered. As I said, you'll get 100 out of 100 and entire skill batch without any issue. So just click on new. And if it is not loading, just wait for some time because sometimes the server is heavily loaded as I said earlier. Now just check the score for this task. You can see we got the score. Now he have to create a folder. The folder name can be anything. You can name it documents or just let it new folder only. So just type in a name. Wait a second. Type the name. And if you get any kind of random pop, what you have to do, you have to just click on close. Okay. Now once you see like this, the folder is created. Now click on create sheet. Now here we have to just create a new sheet and just share it to the collaborators. Where are the collaborators? The same two mails which we have just sent the invitation. Now from here we have to just click on blank spreadsheet. First of all check the score for the lab instruction. This also done. Now here. Okay. You have to just create a new spreadsheet name project task sheet. So just copy the name from here. Come over here. Wait for the sheet to fully load. It is currently loading stage. So once it is done here wait for some time and once the sheet is fully loaded you will update it basically you have to replace the untitled spreadsheet name to the project task sheet whatever we have copied okay the name may update or if it is not updating then it's well and good now just click anywhere and once you have clicked it you have to just add the values okay here just one by one task a then again with p c d e f until all these values are added okay make sure there is no extra space also now just add owner priority status and comments like this you have to just add click on the next shell and just paste it okay just paste it and then we'll move forward to the next step that is basically sharing so just paste it like this here it is done you can see the last one is basically comments now you have to just share it share it to collaborators basically click on share and here basically you have to add the emails these two emails okay one by one just wait for it to get fully loaded now here you can see just paste the name over here and just add the email address over here carefully add the email over here make sure both the emails are carefully added okay do not miss anything just carefully add both the emails paste the first email over here then paste the second email over here and then you have to just click on send option just click on the send option and it will be shared and after that the last task is very easy we have to just create an app sheet app so for that just come over here first of all and check the score for this task we got the score now time for the sixth task that is basically just open it in cognitive window now here basically you have to just sign in with credentials just select the google select the student id and then just click on allow continue whatever you see like this and just click on allow once it is done we have to create a blank spreadsheet sorry blank app so here two kinds of app you can create if you want you can just create the common app basically the normal app also let me show you how you have to do first of all remove this click on create app and if you want to create with a template you can click on this and if you want to create a blank app basically we are creating the blank app only so just click on create and just come back to the lab instructions and check the score so here you can see the app is being created it will take some time so wait for it and once the app is created move to the lab instruction and check the score do not worry i'll show you how you can claim the badge just check the score again you can see we got the score if you follow the way i have done you'll get the score without any issue now you can see we have got 100 out of 100 now just end the lab and click on course option okay so then you can see the badge and if you are unable to see the skill badge basically the congratulation message then just wait for two minutes and then refresh the browser you can see we have done the